What takes 5 minutes or less that everyone should add to their daily routine? Stretches. It feels great and improves your range of motion, which your body will appreciate when you get older. Does the morning stretch in bed, followed by the violent leg spasm count. I'm in this picture and I don't like it. My ex-girlfriend used to look at me funny when I did this. For the longest time I always thought I was a lone weirdo. Now I know that I'm just a weirdo who's alone. AWW buddy. It's okay. I mean. Same here. But the internet will always have your back. Colon close bracket. Clean your cell phone screen. It's more dirty than you think. I usually just give mine a lick. Calm down. Satan. What did I do? If Satan punish bad people, aren't they good? Usually the 5 minutes for me is taken up by saying just 5 more minutes of sleep and it's wasted lol. You have more 5 minutes moments thorough the day to enjoy. Don't worry. Nah, I sleep through those too. Drink a glass of water right after getting up. I usually drink coffee in the morning. Sometimes I fill my cup with water while starting the coffee machine. And by the time the machine started up I finished my water and get myself a cup of coffee. This is a smart way to make it a routine. Also, add water to the coffee. Wash your face. Guys, even if it's just a rinse and find a moisturizer that works for you. Takes literally seconds to apply and people will notice the difference. Moisturizer with SPF is the best. Doesn't have to be expensive stuff either. It annoys me how many facial moisturizers don't have SPF in them. Men's apostrophe are the worst. I stopped buying the male varieties for my husband and just buy him the same one I get half the price and SPF 20. Any recommendations for a guy who's never thought to use moisturizer? CeraVe. They have an AM and PM facial moisturizer that are a good combo to use. The AM has SPF in it. They are both gentle and non-comedogenic so, if you're prone to acne it is very likely to not exacerbate it. If you have particularly dry skin it may not be quite enough, but it will help. Just sit down. Drop your shoulders. Unclench your jaw. Take a deep breath and just think about stuff. This honestly helps a lot with being anxious about something, since you take time out of your day to think and slowly process it. I'll probably fall asleep. I almost fell asleep reading that. <laughs> Drinking a glass of water when they first wake up. It rehydrates your body from going without for hours while you're sleeping. If you want to rehydrate and wake yourself up, try waterboarding yourself. Oh and spill all my deepest, darkest secrets and the admission of random terrorist acts you allegedly did but you know you didn't. Inciting a war on terror and using it as a ploy to steal oil. Say what you mean. Don't beat around the bush. I thought I'd take time to do everything on this list. I feel calm as fuck, but haven't done anything all day. Hope your belly buttons is smelling fresh. Flossing. Started doing this, and it feels so good now every night I can't not do it. Take the time to just breathe and be calm. Read two thirds pages of a book. Why not read a full page? No. I mean, read 2 to 3 pages of a book. Do I have to read backwards to reach minus 1 pages? Fine. Just read 3. Where did 6 come into it? Just doing a few chores. Make the bed. 3 minutes tops wash the dishes. 5 minutes if you get on top of it vacuum. If it's regular it doesn't take long at all. I second making your bed. It's simple but provides me with a motivational boost I need for the day. I have to make the bed. My cat, Rufus, sleeps on my bed all day. He yowls at me after I get up until I make it. I suspect he thinks it's really his bed and he's just letting me borrow it at night. I now love your cat. <laughs> Doing a few push-ups every day. It may seem insignificant, but over time it really adds up. I recently put a pull-up bar in a closet doorway. At first I could barely do one, but now more than one. Congrats and keep going. Ceiling collapses. I have too much power. <laughs> Brush your teeth. That's important for your health, and also it is a kind of an investment. Because you won't need 4 teeth treating as you get older. I'm sorry but what kind of people don't brush their teeth in the morning? People in depression cycles. When doing anything can feel exhausting. I wanted to answer that. 
and then your depression slash maybe also anxiety prevents you from seeing a dentist. <laughs> Farting on purpose to relieve colon stress. IDK man. You might get blindsided by a shot, and one small push will lead to a big disaster. Okay let me just add blindsided by a shot to the list of things I don't want to hear. Or feel. Stop and just notice what's happening around you. What do you hear? See. Smell. Taste. Feel. It's like pause in your own movie and put yourself in perspective. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Sending me $20 via PayPal every day is a good start. Send me your PayPal account so that I can make the transfer. If you want to make it easier, just send me your credit card details. Not for me, but it would really help out me Nigerian friend. He's a prince who can't access his money. Is it okay if I buy a bunch of iTunes gift cards instead? Eyes agent here. You need to send me money for your back taxes first. In iTunes gift cards. If you do not you will be arrested and persecuted. Set dishes in the sink. Or put in the dishwasher. If you have one. Clear trash. Maybe take trash out. Just care for the basics. I have a dishwasher. And it boggles my mind how my family will just leave all their dirty dishes stacking up on the counter. With an empty fully working dishwasher right underneath. And then someone has to spend 20 minutes disassembling the huge pile of dishes. It takes about 15 seconds to open the dishwasher door and put in a plate slash silverware. I know. It takes the same amount of effort to put a dish in the dishwasher as it does to put it on the counter. Why would you create the extra work for yourself? Because they aren't creating work for themselves. They are, thoughtlessly, creating it for you. <laughs> Cleaning your belly button. I feel like people forget about it more than flossing, and it can smell really bad after not cleaning for a while. As someone who is also in a profession that involves cleaning that area, I thank you. I once worked with someone who I thought had a shallow navel, until I started to clean it with cotton swabs, and realized it was so dirty it had just swollen shut. We pulled a hardened clump of dirt and hair out. An entire operating room was traumatized that day, edit, it's called an ontholith or navel stone. For those of you who are into that sort of thing, I really wish I didn't read this. I was eating. Now I never want to eat again. <laughs> Show to your, so the happiness for being back home every day after work. Okay. So all I need is a sew and a job. Might I suggest Amazon for their two day shipping, so you can start this 5 minute routine asap. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. I dedicate 5 minutes to that every day. Bowers. 24. Applying sunscreen. Your skin and body will thank you years later. I haven't actually seen the sun in 3 months. Help. Lack of D vitamin causes depression. Lack of exercise contributes to depression. Lack of deep breathing causes tension. Lack of time in nature contributes to depression. Having your parents yell at you for shit you know you should be doing, contributes to low self esteem having strangers on the internet, call you out for shit you already know only causes mild annoyance. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I really appreciate posts, at least in this kind of subs, that put SGMted reading time in headline. The same goes for emails or newsletters. Are you saying it took you 5 minutes to read the headline? Breathing. I sometimes forget that one. Thanks. Are you breathing right now? Comment from one hour ago. He died. Rip. Look into the distance once in a while, so your eyes won't go bad sooner than necessary. For people who sit in front of the PC or are on their phone a lot. Close bracket. 202020 rule. Every 20 minutes look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Meditation. I tell a lot of people that this is great for anxiety, but people don't take me serious. Also, for those who have problems with sitting and just breathing, focused repetitive hand movement is also meditative. Mitting simple objects is great for that. That last sentence caught me off guard. <laughs> sitting with straight back and making it a habit. You'll find it difficult at the start, but trust me later you'll find your body posture is on a whole new level. My cat got injured recently and had to be quarantined in my bathroom for 10 days. Every day I would go in and feed her, give her some meds, etc. 
and just sit and hold her for 10 or 15 minutes at a time. After just a few days I noticed a big difference in my back muscles. Sitting erect with no back support for 10 minutes 3 or 4 times a day was, was so hard at first, and then it quickly got easy. The cat is better now, so I've stopped doing this, and immediately my back became weak again. You sit or lose it. Just take a couple of minutes to appreciate your pets. Give your dog a bear hug. Kiss your cat's forehead. Heck. Even just give your lizard an extra couple of crickets. Pets need to be appreciated more. And when you realize how amazing these little balls of love are, you'll see an impact in your mental health. 2. My papa got me through some rough times this year, and sometimes nonverbal support can be the best. I read this as give your dog or bear a hug, and I got confused and scared for a second. Me too. <laughs> Say positive remarks on yourself. Yesterday, and today, make them about yourself. For example I love how, when I pet my dog I feel excited too. Yesterday a stranger complimented my shirt. It felt amazing. And today I'm going to be motivated in work, school etc. And have an amazing day it's amazing what it can do to you. A few simple positives. Heck you can even say I saw a pigeon eat a french fry boom. Come to parking lot. Crazy pigeon action. <coughs> Moisturize. Especially if you have tattoos. Keeps them looking fresh. <coughs> Checking up on friends. Being in a tough spot like depression. Heartbreak. Financial. Family and job issues. Doesn't take much time with phones nowadays. And can mean the world to them. If you are new to Tattletale TV, please subscribe. I have new videos every day. Stay tuned right now for another.